Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift up Jesus. Let's lift up Jesus. Oh, I worship. Ruko Shondo Roma da Sandaye. Stop reading. 
reason or another, you keep going right back and doing the same thing over and over again. But I come to tell you that it's not God's will for you to go into next year with that same baggage. Tonight, God wants to loosen you from that spirit of nicotine and addiction in Jesus' name. Right now, church, would you begin to lift your hands? Would you stand right now? Would you begin to lift your hands? I'm telling you right now, God's about to loosen some people under the anointing and power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, would you lift your hands and cry out to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, be wanted. Come on, be wanted. We In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ right now.
the spirit of faithfulness. I know people are praying, but I want us to pay attention. I want us to unify church in the spirit of faithfulness. It's easy when things are going bad. It's easy when you're not feeling God to skip out on a few services. Like Brother Dave was talking about. It's easy to get discouraged and miss a few services here or there. Is missing a service going to send you to hell? No. But I'm telling you, if we are not faithful to the house of God, it does not provoke the spirit of unity. If we are going to have greater revival in 2013, we need to be unified in faithfulness. When the church house is open and the lights are on, we need to make sure that we are in the house of the Lord. Unless you're sick, you're in an emergency, you're on vacation, we need to be faithful to the house of the Lord. Because Paul told the church of Corinth, that you all speak the same thing. And let there be no divisions among you. But that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. When the church gathers together on Tuesday night for prayer. Except for tomorrow night when I have having prayer. But on Tuesday nights when we have prayer, the church needs to be here. When we have Bible study on Thursday nights, the church needs to be here. When we have church on Sunday, the church needs to be here. Why? Until we can have bigger numbers? No, it's not about that. But when the church binds together in unity, and we have the same mind and the same vision, that it's all about lifting up Jesus, and it's all about soul. When the church binds together, it creates an atmosphere where battles are won in the best minds of the spirit. When the church shows up when they don't want to, that just puts a black eye in the devil's face. You would like nothing more than for you to stay home. But we have awesome church. If you're not here, absolutely. We don't need you to have awesome church. But if we're going to have greater revival, we need you here. We need you faithful to the house of God. We need to be faithful in our Christian duties. What we talked about about a month or two ago. We need to be faithful in our giving. Remember what we talked about. He said, when you give, when you pray, and when you fast, church, we are going to bind together in these three elements this year. We're going to give like we've never gave before. God spoke through Brother Lee said he was going to honor our five-year plan. That means at the end of this year, our church is going to get paid off. I don't know how it's going to happen. We owe $98,000 as of right now in change. $98,000 some odd dollars. I don't know how it's going to get paid off. But God said he's going to honor our plan, and I believe that God's going to do it. But we need to be givers. We need to pay our tithes and give our offerings. And if you are faithful to God, God is going to bless you with the means to turn around and bless the church. And as we bless the church, then you will be blessed even more. We are going to give to missions tenfold that we've given this year. I promise you this. We are going to give to missions. Our missionaries need help, and our church is going to open our pocketbooks, and we are going to give to missions. We're going to help these preachers around the world preach the gospel, get the buses they need, the buildings they need, so they can see hundreds of thousands receive the Holy Ghost and get baptized in Jesus' name. We're going to be a church that gives this year. I've got eight minutes before the new year. We're going to be a church that prays. You've been in our church long enough. You know this church believes in prayer, and we are going to continue in that thing. We're going to be a church that fasts. Listen, if you weren't here Thursday night, this is important. If you were not here Thursday, you pay attention. Starting at midnight, we are doing 10 days of a church corporate chain fast. It means for 10 days, pick a day, pick two, pick five, however many days you want, and you're going to fast from dinner to dinner, lunch to lunch, whatever. I don't care what you do, just fast. 24 hours at least. January 11th through the 20th, we are going to do a Daniel fast as a church. I want everybody to participate if you can. We're going to do a Daniel fast. If you were not here, my wife did a fantastic job Thursday night talking about what a Daniel fast is. If you want information, see my wife on that. She'll hook you up. And then the last 11 days of January, we are going to do a corporate chain fast again. Our month of January of current fasting is going to set the tone for the entire year. And I'm telling you, if we do this as a church, and if we unify together in sacrifice, God is going to open the windows of heaven, not just financially, but I mean spiritual bonds are going to be loose. People that keep turning you down about coming to church are going to have an itch to come into the house of the Lord. People are going to be healed and set free. We're going to set the tone. January, I believe, 10th, 11th, and 12th. We are having revival here at the church.
church, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, at 7.30 every night, except for Saturday at 7. Brother Tim Gill is going to be preaching the Word of God, and we are going to have a phenomenal, anointed revival those three days, and God is going to do some tremendous things. We need to bind together in our giving, in our prayers, and in our fasting. We need to bind together in love like we have never been bound together in love before. The church body, if one person hurts, we all hurt. If you stub your toe, it hurts throughout your whole body. And your mind is focused on that toe. It's time, church, that we bind together in love, we bind together in unity, and we go in one mind and one strength. Jesus said in his prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane that they all may be one. As thou, Father, and me, and I am them. We need to be one. Would you lift your hands right now? We've got about two minutes. The clock up there is slow. We've got about two minutes to the new Church, can we bind together right now in unity? Can we bind together and say this year is a year of faithfulness? We're going to be faithful to the house of God. On Tuesday, prayer meetings. On Thursday, Bible study. On Sunday, services. We're going to be faithful in our tithing and our offering. We're going to be faithful in our prayer life. We're going to be faithful in fasting. Not just in the month of January, but one day a week for the rest of this year. We're going to change our lives. We're going to change our lives. Family, strongholds are going to be torn down. Relationships are going to be restored this year. Because when a church unifies together, the devil cannot stand a unified body. He knows that if a church is bound together in unity, that he's got no chance. But can we do that right now? Would you all lift your hands? We've got a couple minutes. Get with your families. If you want to get with your families, find a place where you can get to seek the face of God. Oh, God. Baptizers with a fresh spirit of unity in this place. Bind us together, God, with cords that cannot be broken. Jesus, the family shared the same vision. The families, God, come together right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That our leadership of our church, God, be bound together in unity. That our department heads, God, be a unified, unified body with the vision of the church. That our saints, God, be unified in our endeavor to win the lost. Our endeavor to reach a lost and a dying world and turn our city upside down. Let us be unified in prayer. Let us be unified in fasting. Let us be unified in wanting the gifts of the Spirit. Let us be unified in wanting more of you and willing to sacrifice more than we've ever sacrificed before. Let this church be unified right now. In Jesus' name, I come against every spirit of division. I come against every spirit that would try to sow discord in this place. I come against every spirit of complacency trying to rest in us, even right now. It says, yeah, I'll commit for a little while and I'll go back to how I used to be. God, I come against that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I loosen God the vision. I loosen the unity of the church right now. Let us be one body, one mind, walking in the same heartbeat. Following after you and all of you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, can we do that? Let's pray a little bit longer. Hallelujah, it's 1158. Can we pray just a few more minutes here today? Let our church, God, hallelujah, be unified.
planting a church in Elkhart, hopefully in the next three months or so, depending on where they all get done. Amen. Amen. God's going to do some great things in Elkhart with that Spanish work. I believe it. But it's not about it. It's not about it. Amen. So continue to pray for our Spanish work. But God's going to do some great things and transform that in 2013 as well. I believe that. We love you. God bless you. Be safe tonight as you go out on the road. I don't know what people are doing. You know, people might be drunk or whatever. Be careful. Amen. Have good fellowship. Remember, unity this year. I'll drink to that one. Amen. We love you all. God bless you. In Jesus' name, shake hands with somebody. Love them. Hallelujah. Hug them.